everyone. Welcome to Miss Karina's Mini Time Storybooks. Today's story is called The Jungle Book. It is translated by Denise Meir and illustrated by Ronnie Gazzola. What a surprise for Mother Wolf, Father Wolf, and Little Ones that night. A baby boy had appeared all alone outside their den. He was a poor defenseless man cub and Mother Wolf decided to keep him. The boy was given the name Mowgli, meaning little frog, in the language of the jungle. From that day on, Mowgli grew up alongside the wolf brothers and learned how to howl, hunt, and respect their leaders, Akela. It was Akela who summoned the wolves to a meeting to discuss something unusual. Mowgli had grown and they must decide if he should be allowed to continue living in the jungle. It was a serious problem because the wolves had received a threat. Shere Khan, the ferocious tiger, hated humans and had promised to attack them if they allowed Mowgli to stay. Two friends came to the boy's rescue, Baloo the bear and Bagheera the panther. We will look after Mowgli, they promised. And so they did. The graceful black panther taught Mowgli how to move quickly and easily through the trees and shrubs of the jungle. With her help, the boy learned to be silent. It is important, Mowgli, because Shere Khan is looking for you. Bagheera, uh, sorry, Bagheera often told him, worried. Mowgli, however, had other things on his mind. He preferred to play with Baloo, who was teaching him the law of the jungle and showing him around. Mowgli decided to explore the forest on his own one day and ran into a terrible python caw. After a lucky escape from the snake, Mowgli was ambushed by the monkeys. The naughty animals grabbed him and took him away, jumping from branch to branch until they reached their king who lived in an abandoned palace brimming with incredible treasures. The king of the monkey, monkeys had no use for so many gold coins and gemstones. There was only one thing he wanted, to become human. But Mowgli had no idea how to help him. He had never lived among humans. Bagheera and Baloo stepped in and their decisive action with Ka's help cons uh, sorry, convinced the king to let Mowgli go. A far greater danger lay ahead of Mowgli. Shere Khan had returned to the forest to look for him. Bagheera and Baloo warned the boy and told him there was only one thing the tiger feared, fire. Shere Khan was terrified of fire and Mowgli went to the village on the edge of the forest and picked up a blazing branch. Holding the flaming wood in his hand, he faced Shere Khan the tiger was terrified. He turned and fled into the jungle and was never seen again. Mowgli could finally go back to his friends.